Hello, everyone. Welcome to Awkward Conversations. We are Seth and Sandra Dunn, and we come to you with awkward topics, things that um, are a bit challenging to talk about either between us mm -hmm. <laughs> or amongst um, our culture or maybe amongst the body of Christ. And uh, these are topics that we feel like deserve to be talked about. And, um, you know, our goal here is not to solve the issues. <laughs> it's a short little opportunity to present the topic, bring some thought to it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Often we bring, you know, scripture and our perspective and so forth to it. But we hope that you take these, these topics and think about them and chew on them and maybe talk to other people. Um, so today's topic is a, is a bit unique in that we're going to talk about trust. And I don't know, right off, you may think, well, wait, how is, how is trust an awkward topic? Well, trust is an interesting thing. Um, <clears throat> people fall in a lot of different places, I think, when it comes to trust. There are those that, and I'm just going to try to set the stage here. That's fine. And then you can venture in yeah. as, you, as you want to. But trust is one of those things that I think some people um, don't, don't trust easily at all or maybe flat don't trust, um, just in general, then there are those that trust too easy, <laughs> right? Um, and, and there's some of us, I'm, I think I would fall in a little bit of a hybrid in that there's times <laughs> I'm like, I ain't trusting you. And then there are times where I trust too easy. So, you know, maybe, maybe you find that you're a bit of a mix with this. Um, I have personally found a couple of things regarding trust that have been, you know, certainly helpful to me. So I'm, I'm going to mention this because I don't know that it like necessarily feeds into a lot of our time today, but I started using when I was reading scripture and I, I would see things about faith, I started using the word trust. And that was just really helpful to me because I feel like God is trustworthy. Mm -hmm. He's more trustworthy than you are. Mm -hmm. For sure. No <laughs> He's also more trustworthy than I am, right? There is no human in our lives that's going to be trustworthy like God is. And I think I wanted to make that point because in reading scripture and replacing faith with trust, it really helped me in that process of connecting with God is good and, and he's stable and he's never changing and he just is who he is. And there's nothing about him that isn't trustworthy. And every time that I bump into something where I'm, I'm, I'm either thinking or tempted to think, well, wait, that's, that doesn't, that's inconsistent re as it relates to God. Mm -hmm. And therefore I'm tempted to not trust. I'm like, I am seeing that wrong because mm -hmm. there's no way he's not trustworthy. Now that's just a, that's a decision I made regarding trust. And is it related to God? That for me is pretty simple. Mm -hmm. Now I realize there's complications around trusting God for people. Maybe even some of you watching today, Maybe you have an issue with trusting God. Well, there are ways to work through that and get to a point where you fully, wholly, and completely trust him. Here's where it gets awkward is we can't do that with people. We can't get to that place with people where we can just fully and completely trust. And yet, and yet there's that element of getting to some sense of trust with people. Mm -hmm. So, okay, <laughs> she's gonna have, she's got thoughts brewing here. Here's the thing. There are ways where I know Sandra trusts me, but I also recognize that I fail, right? And so then that trust gets difficult. So that in a husband-wife relationship mm -hmm. gets tricky. And one of the things that I thought of right off in preparing for this was this is where forgiveness becomes important mm -hmm. and yet is also a little tricky because I believe that trust is not deserved. Trust is earned. And that I think is very important to recognize, but it's also something that it's like, oh, that's tricky because if I violate trust with her, I can't just automatically expect her to trust me until I earn it back. Mm -hmm. That gets interesting. Mm -hmm. And I think that's probably the 
big piece, at least for me, of why I wanted to talk about this because it's simple when it comes to God. I, I say simple. I understand there's complexities there, but God is just trustworthy. Yeah. Right. Us as humans, on the other hand, it. <laughs> I, I mean, I just have to say it. We're, we're not as trustworthy. Mm -hmm. We're just not. Because we fail. Because we fail. Mm -hmm. So then you bring in forgiveness in the midst of that, which is important. And yet... But forgiveness doesn't mean trust. That's well, it doesn't. Thank you. That's right. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. You may forgive me, mm -hmm. but not trust me. Right. Because trust has a lot more to do with maybe track record, right? Yeah, exactly. Um. Yeah, so and even track record in certain areas. Oh, absolutely. Like I can totally trust you to provide for me. Okay. You've always done that financially. It's <laughs> <laughs> a great caveat. <laughs> like you've always made sure I have a roof over my head, food on the table, da da da. Like you've always provided in that way, so okay. I can totally mm -hmm. trust you to do that. Right. Okay. Yeah. It's other areas yeah. that yeah. I don't. Same with you to me. There's areas yeah. you don't trust me. <laughs> There's areas yeah. you do trust me. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But I think people struggle with that. I mean, even what you just said there, I, I rec what, what she just unpacked there, I, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. And I, um, I suppose I would say to you today that if I could fully 100% trust Sandra, that would be way cool. <laughs> right? Of course. But I think I'm pretty comfortable with saying that that's just not humanly a possibility with anybody. It's interesting. I mean, I... I say that tentatively. Can you think of anybody in your life that you've just trusted? Just across the board. Mm -hmm. No. Interesting. Can you? I don't know. I was trying to think through. There's a couple people I would say maybe, but again, I'm not married to them. I'm not doing life with them day in and day right. out. <clears throat> yeah. So maybe that's a little bit different. I, I think yes, but still with some sense of like awareness. That yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah. Like, you know, John 2, I'm thinking yeah. about John 2, where Jesus says mm. he knew what was in the heart of men. Like, he didn't trust them because mm. he knew what was in their hearts. Right. And I actually right. haven't studied it yet, but that's one of those verses that I'm like, I want to study this. Because I'm sure it's not saying don't trust anybody ever. No, of That's how not. I read it, <clears throat> because that's my tendency is don't trust anybody ever. Right. Um. I don't trust people. So for me, that'd be a good scripture to, you know, support my philosophy <laughs> to never trust anyone. No, I don't. Yeah. But I don't think that's what he was saying. Right. And so, I, like I said, I haven't, I haven't studied it yet, but I'm going to because I, that's one of those areas that because I don't trust people is like, mm, I, I want to have a scriptural reason to never trust anyone because then I have something firm to stand on. That brings a whole other and topic up. Yeah, totally. But legitimately, um, I look at that scripture and I'm like, what does that mean? Right. You know? Yeah. Um, I, I don't, I'm going to give you complete freedom to not answer this because it may be too awkward. <laughs> but I'm curious because I think this could be helpful to people. And if you feel like you can't answer it or don't want to, that's okay. I, I, okay. I might a little bit. But do you know, you, you just made a pretty blanket statement that I don't trust people. Do you, do you know why? Uh, are there? <laughs> yes. Oh, you do? Yes, Cause Because I would suspect there are people that maybe don't trust well that, do you suppose, that wouldn't? No, you knew that really easily. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> She's thinking, thinking, why is that even a question? I'm thinking, yes. And I'm thinking okay. about all the things, all the reasons why I don't trust people. Like, okay. it would take me a little while <laughs> to go through all the reasons why. Okay. 
But you're very much in touch with my dad, this, my sister, this, my dad, like all the people who have failed me. Right. Over and over again. Which is everybody you've ever met. (laughs) 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 Almost. Well, no, not almost probably. I mean, seriously, I don't, I mean, I know some people fail us more and we fail others more than in other situations, but I mean, there is an element of humanity is not perfect. Yeah. And (laughs) knowing that humans are human and they are going to fail limits how much you should. I honestly believe limits how much you should trust them. I truly think you're a fool if you just blindly trust everybody. I I think that's foolishness. So I, and again, the people who do easily trust, I would love to ask those people Mm -hmm. why, Yeah. how, like, have you never been let down, hurt, whatever, or you just are like, yeah, I have been, but it's fine. I get over it. And then I trust Mm. the next person. Like I can't, I can't figure that out. Yeah. That's interesting. You know, I think, I, I, I want to emphasize a point you made there that you, you feel it to be foolish to just trust blindly. And mm-hmm. I think that's why I make a comment like trust is not deserved. It's, it's earned mm-hmm. because, and, and there are a good number of proverbs that speak to that issue. Yes. You know, that to, to just quickly, um, in this case, trust, you could, you could say it in other ways is, is really not a smart way to go about it. Right. I would say that, Coming to your 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 point there with trusting too easily, mm-hmm. one of the things I bump into, um, and I only give this as an example to hopefully you can begin to connect maybe with where do you land on this? Do you do you trust really slowly or not at all, or do you trust really quickly or somewhere in between? But <clears throat> I think where I get into a challenge at times is with first impressions on people, mm-hmm. and I probably in in certain instances can certainly trust too quickly based upon first impressions. Mm -hmm. And then as you get down the road a little bit, you get to know each other a little better and you begin to understand the ins and outs, the intricacies of every personality. Mm -hmm. Suddenly that some of that trust comes into question. And I've bumped into a time or two where it's like, wow, I kind of, kind of wish I hadn't, you know, hadn't, and dived in here quite so quick. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm learning yeah. that maybe I, I don't really have the confidence, the trust that I yeah. thought I had yeah. here. And so now how do I back up? Mm-hmm. Right. And that's not necessarily even like a big trauma situation. In fact, right. typically it's not. It's just like, eh, now I'm going to have to back off of you. And that right. that's a bit awkward because mm-hmm. now I'm suddenly not interested in, <laughs> in yeah. hanging out with you or whatever. You know what I mean? It yeah. could be that simple. And yet, it gets complex, right? <clears throat> that would just be an yeah. example of where I think sometimes I have trust a little too quick. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But I, I mean, I wanted to bring this up. Yeah. I think trust, it's so interesting because it's so important and it's needed. <laughs> it really and, is. But I also think it's important to recognize there's a massive difference between forgiveness, mm-hmm. between trust. <clears throat> there is. Between vulnerability. Uh-huh. Like, you can be vulnerable because I think vulnerability is of great importance. I sure. Value vulnerability. I think sure. it's huge. And I think you can be vulnerable and not be trusting. And I think that's also okay. Mm-hmm. And again, <coughs> that's interesting. And I think you're right. Maybe not everybody feels that way, but I think it's yeah. important for us to be vulnerable. And I think it's important to try to trust. Yeah. I think it is important to choose wisely who you will trust mm-hmm. and to trust yeah. them, but also just understand there may be a problem mm-hmm. if you trust everyone or if you trust even yeah. that one you choose to trust, you trust them like 100% and then they fail. Right. I think you just have to be aware of the humanity of every person. Right. And so that when you are vulnerable and you are trusting, then they prove themselves not trustworthy or they do something that makes you go, oh, okay. (laughs) It's that thing of like not being offended, but just recognizing their humanity and being able to go, okay, this is 
their humanity and mm-hmm. I need to remember I'm dealing with a human right. and not God. Right. As you're unpacking that, I'm thinking, do you think it's a fair thought to say that there, there's even like levels of trust then? Oh, yeah. So like I, I might have people yeah. that I, or you could say it this way, I trust in, as we were talking earlier, maybe there's people I really would trust, say in this way, but but not yes, over here. Exactly. Is that like... I don't know if is that's that just kind of the common experience areas of trust or, <clears throat> right, yeah. right. But yeah, I for sure think there are areas mm. that it's good to, yeah, that you can trust that, you know, this person, you know, you can trust them. They've always been committed, faithful, whatever. Yeah. I mean, I am very thoughtful here at the moment because yeah. I'm just thinking through some of this, you know, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking about that person that maybe trusts too easily. That's a bit of a harsh Thought maybe to think, oh, wow, I really need to learn how to not trust so much or so quick Mm -hmm. or in certain areas. Mm -hmm. Right. And then for somebody that maybe really struggles with trusting, um, you know, finding that balance of maybe, okay, well, how do I maybe trust here when it really is not not blindly, Mm -hmm. but wow, this right here, this person, this area, whatever trust really has been earned there and yet I'm, I'm still not offering it. Right. Yeah. Those are hard things yeah. to think through and, and to be honest with yourself about and, mm-hmm. and, and, and then of course being honest with others. I really appreciated too. Cause, and can, can we reemphasize this just a tiny bit? Because I think we kind of ran past it, but it was so good. You are unpacking there that you might forgive someone, but, but there's still, limited or maybe even no trust there. Mm-hmm. You also might be very vulnerable with somebody. Yeah. And yet there's not trust that to me. It's like, that's like, <laughs> that deserves to be thought on a little bit for me. Yeah. Cause I'm like, wow, what does that look like to be vulnerable? Because that's a big deal mm-hmm. and, and it's risky mm-hmm. and it's real and it's all these things. And yet you're reserving trust in the middle of it Mm -hmm. that's just there's a lot around that that i personally am like man i want to i want to think on that one a little Mm -hmm. and i didn't want to just run past that because i thought that was an important thought yeah yeah i think it's super important to learn how to be vulnerable but that doesn't mean you are trusting yeah and that's hard because you are unloading like part of your life part of your heart your story and you don't know what the response is going to be but i think Mm -hmm. that's the part where Jesus was like able to, um, he shared mm-hmm. with people and especially with his disciples whom he was close yeah, to, Right. he shared and he told them, here's the things that are going to happen. Here's the, the, you know, like he was sharing mm-hmm. and <clears throat> he was, but he wasn't necessarily trusting. God, hun, as you were just heading there, I'm just thinking, what was that? And I don't think we have any way to know this, but what was that like for Jesus? Yeah. Because don't you think that probably with Judas, maybe even when he invited him to be a disciple, there was an element of, I don't trust something here. Or mm-hmm. maybe he fully knew, you know? Yeah. What was yeah. That? I mean, but Judas must have been crossing some lines oh, yeah. during there the were, course there that Jesus went, woo. Yeah. Okay, we're not trusted. That's, I've never thought about that. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. But yet. He never turned him away. He never kicked him out. He never, you know, like he was still, Judas was always in. He was. Even though at some point Hmm. Jesus knew. Yeah. This guy. This guy. (laughs) Right? (laughs) This guy. (laughs) I like the lesson in that because I just think as I think about people I work with and and friend groups and so forth, Mm -hmm. you know, now I don't have a a Judas in my life that I'm aware of. That's pretty extreme. (laughs) Right? But I I think about much uh, less significant, more minor situations with people. And I'm like, yeah, I mean, I still want to work with them. I still want to be their friend. It's just that I'm not going to trust this or that. Right. And that, man, even yeah. my, even that coming out of my mouth, I kind of went, wait, wait, wait. You, so you can be friends and you can interact and you can mm-hmm. even work with and you can even, mm-hmm. you know, share responsibilities or share vulnerabilities or whatever. And yet have a place I don't really trust them in. 
Right. I, I think that's accurate, but boy, yeah. just to think through that, uh, yeah. you know. Yeah, I have, I have wow. friends that I definitely have trust with in certain ways, sure. in certain areas. Sure. But I also have those friends that I'm like, uh, huh. I will trust to this point, but yeah. I know not to trust beyond this point. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, I do. I do. And that's okay. And two, I think, like for me, it's important that I know those people and that I have the right mentality. It's interesting because I've had situations where I've had to shift my perspective of a person Mm. and the role that they are in my life so that I can either be more vulnerable, be Mm. more trusting, be more whatever, Mm. But I've just had to shift perspective a little bit. Yeah. And that has helped me so much not be angry, not be unforgiving, not be calloused and cold and mean. And I think about people who also in Mm. my life who have been cold and calloused and mean towards me. Sure. And I wish so much that they could just shift their perspective a little bit so as to keep me oh, wow. in their life, yeah, you know? That's something right there, yeah. Hmm. And there's so much to think about. Here. Yeah, yeah. I hope you're hearing, you know, some of the intricacies. Mm-hmm. There's things here that we're not even verbalizing mm-hmm. that I'm, I'm thinking through, and I'm, there's intric- intricacies and so forth to this topic. Because, you know, even like, as you were just unpacking that and, and that idea that, you know, you, there's, there's trust um, offered here, withheld here, you know, and that that's part of the dance around trust. Right. Right. Yeah. And yeah. yet I, I always love, mm. right. That would right. be the goal, right. To yeah. always love. Exactly. So like the statement that, you know, trust, trust is not deserved. It's earned. That can sound really harsh. Mm. I don't mean it that way. I think it could be, I suppose, a harsh reality, but it's also just that dance around it. But everyone deserves love, mm-hmm. right? And so that idea that I'm, I'm going to do my best to always offer love, but that doesn't mean that I, I necessarily trust. Right. That's fascinating. And that's also a difference, yeah. right? Love, forgiveness, <laughs> trust, vulnerability, yeah. Yeah. all of that. Like they're all separate. They're not... It's not, oh, I love this person, so I trust every aspect, so I can be vulnerable, so I can be... Right. No, like those are each different pieces. And they intermingle, but... Yeah, they touch each other. Right. But they're not... Mm. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah. I just think when we trust, it's just important to know how far do we trust. Mm. Yeah. How much are we willing to trust? And understanding that if they... Mm they whoever they is and like i said like you said everybody in my life (laughs) but like (laughs) when they break that trust yeah it doesn't mean now i hate them now i reject right now i don't forgive them now i'm not vulnerable with them now i'm not their friend right doesn't mean any of that yeah well said it means the trust was broken so now I'm aware hmm. and I'm cautious, yeah. but I can still love them. I can still be vulnerable. I can still be their friend. Hmm. And this is part of the problem where people misunderstand boundaries. Okay. You know, like okay. they don't set those boundaries because that seems like, well, then I'm just, or they set boundaries too fast. Well, that person's not healthy. So I'm setting this boundary. Um, Never mind. You could still love them. You could still yeah. be a friend. Yeah. Your friendship might change. The level of friendship might change. The way your friends might change. Yeah. But you can still be a friend. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, it's, yeah, it's an interesting mm. part for sure. Yeah, so, it really is. Well, I, I hope... I think that's... Yeah, I mean, I, I think it. we've talked around it yeah. pretty well. I hope it's given you food for thought and something to... Mm-hmm. You know, maybe this is an area you haven't thought much about or maybe these are some different thoughts around trust. You know, I hope you can take something here and, and chew on it, meditate on it, you know, run it around, mm-hmm. you know, find scriptures relating to yeah. it. Yeah. You know, that's part of the beauty of these conversations is that we're hoping we're inspiring you to think on topics that maybe you hadn't been and that you'll take them then and, and go go someplace on a good learning path with it yes. and, you know, sort them out. So yeah. anyway, there you go. I, I um, always enjoy 
these times. So yeah. yeah, God bless you all and thanks for watching. We are so happy to have you part of our little community online. And we want to encourage you to like, subscribe and ring the bell so that others can join us as well and find all this wonderful information.